There were no great men. They were just pursuing their own power dynamic for their own narrow, self-serving yes. purposes. Which is so, like, it's so, it's so preposterous. I mean, you just, uh, I was with some mutual friends of ours recently on the island of St. Helena. And although I tend to take the British view about Napoleon, which was that he was a proto-tyrant, you cannot sit in Napoleon's study in Longwood House looking out at the ocean and considering the battalions of the British army that had to stay on the island to keep the emperor inside and the fleet of British boats that had to sit in the harbor facing inwards to make sure the emperor didn't escape to just think, wow, this was a world historical force, this man. Um, you, you know, you know you, you're able to take the, the bad with the good sometimes, and, uh, you know, but, but, but goodness me, I mean, the idea that there were no great men in history or that it's all just sort of relative is so, is so preposterous. And you don't have to go to a sort of Carlylean great man theory. But by the way, that's a much better theory uh, of history than anything that's being pushed on us at the moment. I mean, just, just sorry, it's just very, I, I don't want to ramble, but I mean, there's a case that I, I was saying, actually, I did a, an alternative commencement speech for some of the students at Columbia the other month because they weren't allowed a commencement ceremony because of the protesters at their university. And of course, so, so a nice group of students and their families asked if I would, would speak, and I did, and I did as, as, as much as I could. And I, well, but one of the things, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I said, you know, as well as talking about the famous great figures of the past, I gave the example of there was a, as a 16 year old who, who, who Andrew Roberts mentions in his History of World War II, The Storm of War. The 16 year old who lied about his age to get into the British Navy as a submariner in 1940 or so. Um, is on uh, is is on one of the submarines that sinks a German U-boat. They get the they get the crew off the boat and the, and it's sinking. But this sixteen year old and a, a couple of the others get into this German U-boat as it's sinking. Find among other things one of the encryption devices, which is sent back to Bletchley Park and which allows the Allies to crack the Enigma code. That 16-year-old ended up being, as it, as it happened, he was chucked out of the Navy because he'd lied about his age. But that 16-year-old boy called Tommy changed the course of human history for the good. Now, tell me, tell me it wouldn't be better as a society, instead of telling people to wallow in grievance and anger and bitterness, to say, you know, it actually doesn't matter where you come from, if you have it in you, you could be a world historical figure as well and improve things demonstrably for the better with your life. I suppose one of the conclusions that you could draw would be that the provision of ideologies that claim the contrary are generated for no other reason than to alleviate the responsibility for doing so from the, from the shoulders, to lift the burden of responsibility for doing so from the shoulders of the authors of those ideologies. Everything is pointless. All morality is relative. No one's life has any true significance. I can do whatever the hell I want with whoever the hell I want to, with no consequences whatsoever, because in the final analysis, does it really matter? It's like, well, does it really matter? Well, the reason I concluded eventually that it did really matter was because that's the pathway to hell. And it looks to me like even if heaven doesn't exist, hell matters. And you'll, you'll figure that out when you get there. And it sounds to me like what you're doing with your new tour is bringing, what, an expanded vision of the hell that awaits us if we don't walk a little bit more carefully than and, we have been. And the heroism that can await you too. That's, uh, I, I, I will get into this more, but I mean, that is one of the things that I find extraordinary from my past year. I've seen it before, mm, but mm. wow, until you see what people are able to do under unbelievable circumstances and to risk their lives and sometimes to give their lives uh, for a common good, for a purpose, for a cause, sacrificially, almost self-sacrificially, I'm mm -hmm. thinking of people who drove right into the fire on the 7th and were citizens and who stood up for their neighbor and saved a lot of people. And people, people often think heroism is, you know, sort of a, a thing from the past. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's something that if, if the, if the time emerges, you would hope you'll be able to raise yourself to. But I've seen many people who did.
Well, that's the purpose of education is to prepare yourself for precisely that. I mean, you saw when you came on tour with me, you saw the lights go on in the crowd, let's say, when a case was being made for the relationship between truth and responsibility and adventure and meaning. It's like this, this call to take your place at the seat, at the feet of the greats, let's say. That's not some cliche. And it's so interesting to watch people's response to the representation of that pathway because so many people are so seriously demoralized. It's like, no, you know, you could gird your loins, so to speak, and become something. And you have a cardinal role to play and you'd find the meaning of your life in doing that. And, and that meaning is more real than anything else because it actually is the medication that you can take that doesn't precisely make you immune to pain, but it makes you able to accept it without becoming bitter and murderous. And yes. that's not nothing. Well, right. I mean, so, you know, it has to be that there is an answer to demoralization, and that is something like remoralization right. of people, uh, a reminder of people uh, to rise to their better instincts, to rise to their, to their better pasts, to, to aspire to their better forebears. That's all possible. You know, there's no reason that, 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 that radicals on any side should have to drag us down into this pit. Absolutely no reason. And we should be able collectively to cut whatever rope it is that they are trying to link us to and pull us down on and saying, no, you can go that way, but you're not taking me with you. Yeah, you're not taking me or anybody I can communicate if, with effectively with right. you.